Uh, you want to either map? What, what do you think it is on Battlefield 1? Do you remember? 85, I think. I don't know. Yeah, I would put it there. 85 is good. That's increased from default. That'll help. Um, vehicle third person field of view. You want to max that one out for sure. Um, and then, uh, on ADS field of view. ADS field of view. Uh, I have it off right now, but I'll probably switch it to on once I get more comfortable. I just don't want things to be too zoomed out when I decide to ADS. It's off. Um, I have mine off. Gotcha. I'm going to turn up my brightness a little bit. I had it kind of low. I'm putting my brightness at 70 for now. Uh, I have motion blur at 50. I'm going to drop that to zero. Hopefully the Series X can handle that. Um, and then I have chromatic aberration, film grain, visionette, and lens distortion all off. Um, then for HUD general, let's see. Show vehicle C on. is on. What did you go to? Uh, it's uh, under display and then HUD general. You hit trigger to navigate over to HUD general. Mm -hmm. And I, I turn on the show vehicle seat. Um, colorblind, I have it set to custom because I like a darker, like a, a darker blue for the blueberry color. Um, but that's a personal preference thing if you're going to adjust that. Um, my kill log, I have, it's on by default, I think I have that turned on. Oh, show, show kills made by, I'm going to say all. There we go. I'm showing all, everything on the kill feed. Um, I'm going to the crosshair now. Crosshair color, I'm going to go with the maroon like I normally do. Hit color. Oh, there needs to be a different hit color and a different headshot color for sure. Sorry about this freaking settings and stuff, guys. I'm just customizing a few things. Um, damage based shape is on. Headshot color is going to be green, just like Battlefield 1 for me. If you're going to adjust your headshot colors here, color. I would just. Yeah, I would just. If you're going to adjust the colors, I would just customize it to the way like vaguely the colors you use in Battlefield 1, so you can use your reflexes as much as possible, like use the What's same. What's the RGB over there? I'm going up and down with it. Uh, oh, I see. Thanks, Never Citrus. Mind. Appreciate you, man. I'll uh, catch you later. Sorry about signing off Battlefield 1 so early. Uh, yeah, you've got to like adjust with the left stick to move it around on what shade you want, and the right stick adjusts like the color, I guess. Um, for kill hmm. color, I think I normally go with like a pink. Or I don't like, know. No, I just I just, go red for just, kill color. I just canceled out. Yeah. I don't know what I just did. Mm. Subtitles, controls. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what about soldier controls? Oh, these are all different. Soldier buttons. Uh, a lot of it's similar. A lot of it's pretty similar. Here, I'm going over to mini map real quick under display. I feel like that's going to be important. Uh, rotate with view is on. Mini map view distance on foot. Oh yeah, you can increase that. I definitely want that larger. Will so you want controller mapping? Uh, I'm under display and mini map. Um, you trigger over to minimap. Yeah. Um, and uh, I'm going to, for on foot zoom, um, I think I'm going to go to 200. <sighs> it looks like the max is pretty high for this. It looks like it's 300. I'm going to go to 200 for on foot. For ground vehicles, I'm going to max it. And for air vehicles, I'm going to max it. Um, no, Bobby Clay, I'll be back to Battlefield 1. I'm just playing this for, for fun. Will, uh, hopefully it'll be fun. Anyways, uh, I'm doing both. I'll be playing both. Still, Bobby Clay. Here. 
Uh, <sighs> let's see. I think I got all the mini map stuff done. I, I guess I'm just gonna go by category hawk and like do everything I want in each category, so I know when I'm done. You know, adjusting. I've got general and display done. I think we talked about most of what you wanted to do. What's the, you don't have to customize any of this. Custom. Uh, Is that normal? I would leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's. I I, I put that off. I I leave. I leave that default. And I don't have anything inverted, so I have everything off except for aircraft on for aircraft, right? Um, the only thing I adjusted, I think, under general was the camera shake amount. And I think that's it. Um, and then display. Look on um, general for invert vertical look for wheeled vehicles. Do you have it off or on? uh for wheeled vehicles it's off all of them are off except for the aircraft one for the invert part the invert vertical look i have all of it off except for the aircraft and that's that's the same way it is in battlefield one you have it on i have invert i have the one for aircraft on but the rest of them i have off uh -huh. and that'll be the same as battlefield one for all the vehicles, like how they drive, and, and for soldier stuff. I've been liking it, Bobby Clay. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I'll let you be the judge, man. We'll be playing shortly here. Uh, camera shake amount, you already turned that down, right? Uh, -huh. uh The rest of it, I think I left default here, except like I said, I had crossplay turned off, but I'll go through that with you later. You can't adjust it in game. You have to do that in your Xbox settings. Um, I'm gonna go over to display now. You've got the field of view the way you like it, and you have your third vehicle, th third person field of view maxed out, right? Mm hmm Okay, and then turn turn your motion blur either down or off. Um, chromatic, I turn off all those video effects at the bottom. Chromatic aberration, film grain, visionette, and lens distortion, whatever. That's just to, it makes the thing fancy and uses up your graphics processing, right? We'll probably make you oh, lag if you turn them shit. on. Leave them on. Uh, I don't know. I just turn them all off. Uh, are you with me on display video? That's something wrong here. Oh, you're good. No worries. Let me know when you're in display video. Display video. And then, the view. Yeah, yeah, I got all that. Yeah, yeah. You got all of it. All right. Then you have. Did you do the HUD general? Did you get everything in the way you like it there? Camera shake amount, you'll want off. Kill log, oh, the kill log you should probably adjust because it's the way you're used to it, you know? I would turn, uh... oh, thank you, Rancid. I'll switch that. Yeah, I think I'm ready. Uh, Well, let me, do, do you want to do one one more? Just We'll go quick, I'll go quick, Hawk. Uh, yeah, what is it? Oh, let's, do, let's do the last few because there's one or two important ones still here. Um, so let's see, crosshair, I adjusted my crosshair color, you don't have to adjust any of those colors if you don't want minimap, you will want to adjust your minimap view distance, um, to similar to how we have it on Battlefield 1. Yeah, I've already I, that I would, one. Oh, okay, you did that one? Okay, sound, I think sound's all fine. Um, if you have a 3D headset, you'll want to make sure it's set to 3D headphones under the audio mix. Um... Then uh, soldier controls. I have all that default right now. You'll get you'll get used to it, and you can make customizations later. Um, it, let's see, controller, global on foot, um, vehicles. That's all fine. I have that turned up. Center dead zone. That's all fine. Okay. A lot of the accessibility, a lot of this stuff leads to this. You can find the same stat in multiple places. That's very confusing. Um, all right. I think everything else is fine. You're right, Hawk. I'm sorry. All right. Let me start a party here. Create party. And then we're going to... Let's see... Oh, are you? That's weird. I don't see uh, um online here, Hawk. 
Mm. Create party. Uh, yeah, you could create a party and invite me. That would work. Um. I don't see you. Oh, are you? Which one are you on right now? <sighs> are you on the? Are you on this one for Series X slash S, or are you on the one for Battlefield One? What do you mean? Yeah, I can, Jimmy Jack. I can do that. Some of it I'm just guessing and trying to match what I do on Battlefield 1, Jimmy. Uh, when I'm, someone in the chat was asking if I'd upload this later to YouTube. It's going to be kind of a long video, too. I would need to cut it, probably. Uh, let's see. I don't and then, see you. Uh, you don't see me? Okay. Uh, maybe if you... Uh, when you're done with all your settings, Hawk, maybe if you hard quit the game and come back in, maybe I'll be able to see you. And you can confirm whether um, whether we've got the same version of the game right now. Uh, I have the I'm other on one Xbox downloaded. One. I... Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Right, where's the other one? Um, if you have the other one downloaded, I don't it, know uh, if it'll port okay. your settings across. Hopefully it will. But you might have to go through settings real quick again. Mm. If you have both downloaded, then yeah, you can just get in the, the Series X slash S one. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same here, Jimmy Jack. I, I can play. Well, I can play the Xbox One version, but um, but anyone with an Xbox One can't play the Series X version and S version. So I can play together with Xbox One people, but I'd have to get the you know lower graphics version of the game basically, or play the lower graphics version of it. Um. Alright, it's connecting. Okay. Hopefully it you'll have to check your settings to see if it imported any of that. Um I wonder if I should just join a game and did you Jimmy, did you have to adjust your settings on both of them? That's that's kind of a bummer. Oh well. I'll have to do the same thing when I get into the Xbox One version too then. Um Oh, here it is. I'm inviting you to a party. I don't see, uh, I don't see Killjoy on, but, uh, How the hell did I get out of this? Did you get in the party? Did it let you? You better do your settings the way you like them real quick. Yeah, but how do I get that? It's loading me into a game. Oh, I listen to it says. Doing... Oh, right. Isn't that what it did last time too? Yeah, and then I just... Yeah, you had to quit. and That's fine. Once you get out, let me know. At least things load pretty quick. Oh, gotcha. The settings, Jimmy? I see. Okay. Yeah, I kind of get obsessive about settings. That was like the first thing I did when I got the beta is I spent 30 minutes trying to get all my settings as close as I could to Battlefield 1. I, I like obsess about that on Battlefield 1, so it makes sense that enough of them are similar, pretty similar to Battlefield 1 settings that I kind of know what they do. Um and was able to like make judgments about what I would like. And mostly I've liked what I did. I wish I had customized some of the colors sooner and gotten the col the colors of hit markers and stuff, the same color I have it on Battlefield 1. It, you need like your headshot color and your hit color need to be different colors. Um, and like your kill color definitely needs to be something you can distinguish. Easily. Build a view, where did um, I go to, 85? I think you said 85, yeah. Here, I'll go, I'll go through some with you well, since you're you're, so you're under general, or no, you're under mm -hmm. display, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you had your field of view increased. You'll want to max out the vehicle third person field of view. And then HUD general. I I would increase the I would increase the oh you're you're in HUD general now. Oh, okay, 
it, I would turn up your brightness if you haven't already on the video. It's worth turning up your brightness. Depending on your display, it, it helps you see people in darker, like indoors and stuff. Um, then I turn off those video effects so that it doesn't use a processing power. Um, I have camera shake amount down. You'll want to turn off your camera shake amount. Uh, and then I do custom colors. I, I did a custom color for the blueberries just because I don't like the default one, but that doesn't matter very much. Um, Let's see, kill log. Oh, kill your switch your kill log to on and all. Mm -hmm. Show kills made by all. Because that's what you're used to from Battlefield 1, you know? Um, then crosshairs. Uh, I, I do my crosshair color. I switched it to maroon, which is the same way I have it. ADS field, one, field but, of view. Uh, I, I have it. I, I have... Uh, that's that's up to you. I, I think you can do it either way. Do you remember what they do? Sort of, it's the same as um, it's the same ADS field of view. Where where are you at on ADS field of view? Where are you seeing that? Controller on foot. Controller, and then on foot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your ADS field of view is it it if you turn it to on, it's gonna apply your wider field of view while you're ADS, so you won't be able to see as much while you're ADS, but it'll help you control <sighs> recoil better. So that's the trade-off with ADS field of view. Uh, on Battlefield 1, I turn it, um, I have it on for assault and support, and I have it off when I play scout normally, that kind of class. I'm gonna, I leave it off here, cause just cause it's, it's what is done by default and I'm getting used to it. Once I'm like used to the mechanics, I'll probably switch it to on and see if I like it better for like running with a submachine gun or an assault rifle, I might switch it to on. But for now I'm leaving it off. Because that's the default. Crosshair projection. Yeah. Uh, where are you at? Uh, accessibility still? general. Accessibility general. Uh, what what would you say? Mm, crosshair projection. Crosshair projection. I don't know what that is. Where is that? I don't see it now. Are you under accessibility general? Uh, accessibility general, general yeah. Is it under? Is it down pretty far on the list? Where? How far down is it? I don't even see that. The bottom. At the bottom. I, at the bottom for me is hints for controls. Yeah, go up, subtitles go up or something. Three. Crosshair projection. I see. Let me see what that does. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Frick. I don't know. I don't know because I don't know if they have visual recoil in the game. Um, like, I don't know if, if the center of the screen is where your bullets are going to go or where the crosshair with this on is where the bullets are going to go. I, I would think I would think off would be better in general because that's how it is in Battlefield One and that's what we're used to. But I don't freaking know if that's gonna be where your freaking bullets and shit go. So I, I think off. But if we notice that the crosshairs seem unreliable, we'll we'll have to come back and switch that one back. But I, I think off is gonna be better in general. Um, Because, yeah, there's visual recoil in Battlefield 1 that is like was pretty bad. Meaning that like your crosshairs and your aim wasn't always pointed where your bullets were actually going to go. And so it actually helped to have like a dot in the center of your screen, you know, like either by having a special monitor that can put a crosshair in the middle of the screen or, um, or like <laughs> putting a little whiteboard mark in the middle or something, like a dry erase marker. Um, Anyone, let's see, any other ones you wanted to go through, or do you think you got most of them? Yeah, I think I got them now. All right, good deal. I will invite you to the, I will create a party here. I will invite you to the party. Or if I can here. It's weird, I can't, why can't I scroll? There we go, Demir Hawk, invite. There, I invited you. I don't know how to how you're supposed to join. Maybe it prompts you to join. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, look at that. Perfect. Okay, uh, Killjoy's on. I'm gonna invite her. And then I'll have to see her card and invite her to the party here. Ugh. Okay. And then it says Fiesta is on. I'll invite him too. You can only have four in your party. Uh, you can have four in a squad. I don't know if you can have more than that in the party or not. We could obviously have more in the Xbox party, like, on chat. But we might end up on opposite teams with, like, one of the squads eventually. I don't really know how that would work, you know? <laughs> like, I don't know if it would put you all together on, in the game. Actually, it would put you all in different games, wouldn't it? Um, okay. You ready? Yeah, what am I supposed to do? All right, let's do it. I'm going to start the game. It, it should load into it. What are we going it. into? All out. Oh. oh, okay. It says, unable to connect to EA servers. Let's try that again. Hmm. <sighs> You're not in my... Yeah, it lagged me out. You might need to... Are you in a game? Did it actually... Oh, the executioner. In? Yeah, here's... Here, sorry. Uh... Oh, you invited me? I guess. Let me do it? I don't know. I don't know. Party leader selects game. Uh... Okay, it, it has me in the game with... Or it doesn't have me loading into the game, Hawk. I, I think I need you to... I haven't loaded into the game yet. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Never mind then. Uh, it says I'm still party leader, so mm -hmm. I need to select the game, I guess. All Out Warfare. What is going on here? Haha. <laughs> Log mice. Yeah, I mean, if you know how to get in the same freaking lobby, that's going to be hard. Um, I didn't know it was set up for that, honestly. Okay, something's wrong with my game here. I'm going to I'm going to quit out and rejoin here. Unfortunately.